Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Bernie here. In today's video, I will show you how to record voiceover in Final Cut Pro. All right, so first, before we dive deep into the tutorial, I wanna give you my reasoning as to why I do my voiceover in Final Cut Pro. Well, it is because of one reason alone, it is convenience. Yes, it's easier that way for me instead of recording in another app like for example Logic Pro since I only need one effect and that's the bass boost which I can easily add to my voiceover recorded in Final Cut Pro. Alright, so what you will need is of course Final Cut Pro and a USB-C capable microphone. This one, the Fifine Tank 3 or any other USB-C mic of your choice. I chose this because it's just plug and play and there's no need for me to use a mixer although you can still use a mixer if you really want to and just plug it into your Mac and you'll be good to go like my trusted Rodecaster Pro right here so number one thing that you have to do is to plug in your USB-C mic into the USB-C slot of your uh, Mac and then select Fi Fine for both input and output as you can see here, I have the Fine Fine uh, ready to go. And once done, open Final Cut Pro. And I assume that you already have a project file ready. Then open it. Once opened, you can click any part of the magnetic timeline to record your voiceover. So once there, go to Window and then select Record Voiceover or a shortcut. So Shift V and a small voiceover window will pop up. And here you will see a big red circle. This is actually the record button that you will click. As you can see, there's an input gain. I normally set it to 6 to 10, but this time it is set to 10. Then under name, you'll be able to rename your recording. And uh, let's call this uh, how to record VO in FCP. And as you can see, there's also this uh, advanced option, a drop down arrow. So the beauty about this one is that you have more control and under advanced, there's input. It says system settings. And here, you don't really have to mess with this one because you have already uh, set up your uh, microphone the input and the output they're both from Fine Fine Tank 3 and then monitor I uh, selected off and as you can see here gain uh, we don't have to worry about that because it's grayed out anyway and then countdown to record I have it unchecked and then mute project while recording I have it checked because uh, sometimes when I do my voiceover recording on a timeline there are some let's say a gap or there could be layers of video so so I don't want uh, those project files to play while I'm doing my recording. And the good thing here is that it doesn't overwrite anything when you're recording your voiceover. And then as you can see here, there's create audition from uh, takes. I don't have to do this because I just let it record even though I'm uh, repeating myself or I'm doing multiple takes. It is just one file. So I didn't really have to use audition. And then event bin, it will go to the bin. And then the role, I don't have to worry about this as well because I don't use dialogue and huh maybe you're wondering what happens to the file where I can find it or where you can find it so basically in two ways one is it's inside the bin and as you can see right here I have uh, the bin selected and I have it under clips since I don't have any footage yet on this uh, particular browser, I can easily find my voiceover clip recorded inside Final Cut Pro. And another way is in Finder. You have to go to the recorded clip by, uh, I would say, control click. And then a new window will pop up and then click reveal in Finder or shift command R. And then you see there's original media and now you can see your recording right here and it's in WAV file. So the good thing about this one is that you can save it and make a backup and then you can re-edit this one using uh, any other software like Logic Pro. You can also go to the project itself and then show package contents. And as you can see, it's the same thing. We go to bin and then regional media and then there's your file. And now let's go back to the timeline. So when the timeline is empty and uh, you record your voiceover right away, it will add a gap and then you will have your recording in the second layer or the bottom. So the thing about this one is that it's kind of hard to edit this one because I want it when I delete something, I want it to snap all together. So what I do, I put it on the main magnetic timeline like so. And then I can now delete like for example, like this one. 
and then delete and then it snaps into place all right so that's about it for this video i hope this one is helpful thanks a lot for watching this is bernie i will see you next time goodbye for now